Don't freak out. You know how important this is to me. Remember, he's making an effort. Well, you can ask who it is. Then Hi. Back to Hi. Hi. Um, oh, oh, it feels so good to be social. You know, this is like the first time in a week I haven't thrown up. Special delivery from your mother. Well, where is she? Here, in spirit. Oh, this is filled with canvases, my little Leonardo da Vinci. I was wrong, I admit it. The waitressing agrees with you. Uh, well, you weren't completely wrong. I do hate it. Better hate your job at your age than at mine. How is school, Doc? Well, I'm finally getting used to looking at cadavers. Rabbi Mendelssohn asks about you all the time. Remembers how smart you are, fighting with him a lot, making him think more than anybody else. Valedictorian of your Hebrew school. You should go pay him a visit. Sure. Raquel made some cookies. Good practice for motherhood. I don't want to eat them all by myself. I'm getting fat enough as it is. <laughs> so come on. <laughs> Here, they're still warm. Tell them about Howie. Things are finally looking up. And just in time. I don't want to say anything too prematurely, but looks like he and Steve sold almost all the properties they invested in. <laughs> Isn't that great? He's so happy. He's been singing Van Halen songs in the shower. <laughs> Van Halen? It's what we like to listen to in high school. Thank you. Okay. That's wonderful, Raquel. You know, I'm always rooting for Howie, I'm waiting for him to sort of prove himself to the world. <laughs> He's going to be a great dad. And if he makes enough money, Raquel may be even able to stay at home with the baby. That's great. Mm -hmm. Wow. Great. Great life. Our Beth. You love to teach. And I would love to spend time with my baby even more. Why do you always have to make everything the Russian Revolution? No, it's just, you know, I wish I was the lesbian so I didn't have to buy in all the expectations. Baby, when did you get to be so nasty, huh? When was your life ever so hard? God, you used to be like the sweetest child anybody ever knew. What happened? I'm sorry, Raquel. I'm happy for you guys. And Daddy, I think it's great that you came here. I'm glad I came here too, baby. Becky. You were always so religious. I live a modern, spiritual Jewish life. That means you pick and choose which laws to, to break. Remember what Tevye says in Fiddler on the Roof. What happens to a beautiful fabric when you pull out even a tiny thread? A fabric can bend to fit the person who chooses to wear it. But Tevye also says if you bend me too much, I will break. You don't follow every rule either. You're right. Well, in the words of Hannibal the Cannibal, let's forget what's eating us, and let's eat. That's lovely, Dad. <laughs> Yum. What do you mean? 